I'm just going to introduce you to Mick. He's an extra. He's a ex army veteran. He want to say a few words? Uh, Mick, everybody. Hello, Bradford. So I served in the British Army for 30 years, and I'm actually getting bored with saying that now. <laughs> but in reality, if you take a quick look around and you pause for a minute, and you look at everyone that we've got here, in your own way, you're all warriors. Because I can tell you right, there's an awful lot of people that do not know what to do and they need leading. And you are starting to lead the way. This is the biggest gathering I've seen up north to date on this level. And so we have to come together. <laughs> Last Saturday I was in London. And we must have had around 100,000 people marching. Now the key thing is, what I did in London was I went to the Charing Cross police station and I handed in a criminal complaint asking the Westminster police to investigate the government for misfeasance in office, that's misconduct in office and I produced 815 pages of evidence to show them why they should do that. Now I want you to remember one thing guys, I cannot imagine a world without police. I've worked with the police myself, they are our brothers, they are our sisters, they are for the people. But remember, they're also put under pressure as well. So we never hey, offer any aggression, today is about peace, it's about demonstrating that. I can say to you now, if you fight, you lose. Because hate breeds hate, and what we want is something else. So how can we affect change? That's it, we do want unity. Unity and community, right? Because if you look at all the different races, colors and creeds that are here right now, that's what democracy looks like. That's what community looks like. So what I'd like everyone to do, if you brought a, a criminal complaint with you today, I'm going to collect those in this bag that I've got here and I'll be delivering them to Charing Cross Police Station next week. And I'll be finding out how far the PC has got with our complaint. Because sifting through 815 pages takes a little bit of time, right? But of course we're conspiracists, aren't we? And I can remember telling some of my police friends nine, ten months ago exactly what was going to happen. And my military friends as well, because I've got lots of friends in the military. The military is a family, remember that? Yes, we are a family. And I can guarantee that every person in this crowd either knows someone who serves or has someone in their family who has served. Certainly from my own perspective, my brother served, my father served. And so it's the veterans now that we're appealing to. It's the veteran communities that we're appealing to. I am creating a group of 300. And I'm looking for men who want to be trained in peace and law. Because I think some of our law has got a little bit lost, it's become a little bit legal. And in reality you have inalienable rights that should never ever be taken away from you. And that main right from my perspective is the right to bodily integrity. Now I'm not a scientist guys, but I'm an analyst. I spent 30 years analysing training and creating trainings that had no training deficiency. I have more than enough of a capability to look at studies and draw some sensible conclusions from those and then share my ideas with other people who can do the same. So never undersell yourself. Remember that if it smells like fish and it looks like fish, there's a good chance it's fish. Especially if it comes from Grimsby, right? So we're getting together, we want the 300 to be trained in law, we want them to be able to come out and peacefully connect with the other police. We want them to have dialogue, because the one thing that will break our communities down is no dialogue. They are breaking your families down and your communities as we speak. So recreate them in your own way. If you need a security bubble, if you know eight people that will come to your help if you need it, create those bubbles, increase your communities. 
Hold dialogue. When we lose the art of dialogue, it's one of the cornerstones of democracy. Open debate is a cornerstone of democracy. Who's seen that? Who's seen any academic open debate around this situation? Because I haven't. And I can say to you with a, with, a, with a level of assurance, maintaining your bodily integrity is the only thing you have left if we're not careful. Now I'm in dialogue with some of the trade unions, and I can tell you where this is going to fall apart in some ways. The insurance companies will not insure vaccines, for obvious reasons. And by the way, if anyone is under pressure to take the vaccine to leave their job, get in touch with the UK Freedom Alliance, we're going to be offering some guidance on that site. I'm also connected to the World Freedom Alliance and I advise on, on safety and security, even though I'm a bit of a dwarf. So what I would like to say is that you're not know, yeah, well, well, the well, well, come to all that time. The right to bodily integrity should be maintained, but equally there are measures already in place that allow you to do that because this is not a vaccine. You don't mind. It is a test. And if you look, if you look at the studies, it is the biggest experiment ever performed on the human race. Now that seems like a big statement to make, but even Big Pharma are telling you that if you go and look for it, they are telling you that openly. So everything I say to you, I can assure you is true, it's factual. I've always worked in the, worked in the world of fact, and that's the place that I feel that we should be in when it comes to this type of situation. So what I want to say is, if you have your criminal complaint, I'm going to be up here, you can go, come and drop it off. I wish you well, and I can tell you this, the military are looking, the military are becoming aware. I can say that with my hand on my heart, and the veterans are becoming aware. All we need to do... All we need to do is let them know that we need them! Nick, everybody, thank you very much. Can I just pass you on? Can I just pass you on?